the stereotype of a white guy only knowing Priyanka Chopra is so real. By no means should Priyanka Chopra be the only beauty standard because there are so many South Asian Desi queens. The sari is so uncomfortable. Why does it itch so much? It was itchy, a little itchy, I'm not gonna lie. But it's a good line. Devi, you're of age now. Half sari is more appropriate. That is true that it is more appropriate. I really appreciate the fact that, you know, Sal Perez, the costume designer, made it so that Davy's wearing a half sari. Cause that's very age appropriate for a 15 year old Tamil girl. Like the accuracy, we love it. We love that, we love accuracy. Too much going on for Ganesh Puja? That bitch. I love that part. I love that part because every single time Purna said that, I was just laughing. It was so bad. As Indians, we get a little bit of money. We go straight to Home Depot to buy a cement fountain. Okay, fun fact. When I came back from LA from filming, I came home and there was a fountain in front of my house. So that was really ironic. I was like, what? My dad bought a fountain while I was gone filming. My mom was on set, like while, you know, filming Ganesh Puja. So my mom was the one helping Sal, you know, figure out like, just to make sure everything was accurate. And I know Purna and Rich, uh, they're pros at it too. Devi, listen to me. No, I don't Look, want to. I know it'll be a big change. Oh, this scene. Oh, okay. I don't have a support system and, and frankly, without your father around, I just feel like I'm really struggling to raise you. That line breaks my heart. She has no support system and everybody forgets that about Nalini. Also, I loved how they shot all of these like flashbacks. Like it wasn't in just a typical one flashback. Here's the whole story. Now we're back here. Like they did it throughout the episode. It was really nice. I feel like so many kids can relate to this kind of situation. It's a very common situation that's mainly based off of miscommunication. Yes, let's go. Let's go, me. Good job with that face. Good job. Oh, this is not the time to get hyped, sorry. Oh, no, but good job, good job. I know I'm just a burden to you, so you can go to India alone. Maybe take Kamala with you. She's the daughter you actually wanted. Oh yeah, the word of burden, that's a big one. And then using Kamala as like, this is who you actually wanted. That's a very 15 year old thing to do. Actually, no, that's a very uh, emotional thing that anybody can do. I wish you were the one that died that night. Boom! Oh, she went there. Fun fact, the camera crew was getting all emotional on me while we were filming this. Like, these guys are old enough to be my dad, and they're all, like, crying, and I'm like, oh, God. It was the last shot of the day, so, like, I knew it was coming. Like, I knew, like, this is the one, and I practiced it before. I was like, I know how I'm gonna approach it. And all in me says that whole, I feel like I'm struggling to raise you. I feel like that's what really triggers Davey. And I think it, it hits more because Davy's not yelling, because she's not freaking out, because we always see her freaking out. But this time, you can tell she's done. Like she's given up. She doesn't have the care or the will to fight for anything because she's not yelling. She's just truly like, this is my life now. Okay, I love this. I love that editing pick putting the harp at the end of that because after every single episode ends, for all the rest of them before this, it's all a fun song. It's like dancing on my own. Woo, yeah, fun times. But then they just hit you with the harp music and you're like, wait, I thought this was a comedy. What the hell just happened? Like what? I, I got bamboozled. You okay, kid? I didn't know who John McEnroe was before this, but I Googled him up. I'm like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Like he plays tennis. That's nifty. He's known for having like a temper. Cool, cool, cool. Makes sense. But then when like it was said in the script that he was going to actually like appear, I was like, oh, okay. Nifty. Like I wasn't starstruck. You know, I guess that's just obviously also because I, I didn't know who he really was, you know? I personally hate walking on a beach without wearing like shoes. So like I had to though, like be barefoot because of course the ritual of like putting the ashes in. It's okay, like it's fine, it was fine. I'm sorry for everything. I can't believe I said I wish you were dead. I didn't mean it. I'm so glad they did this. Just an apology on Davy's side, but actually showing something like this that's very important in like Hindu culture of like getting rid of the ashes and putting them into a lake, a body of water. Also the details of Nalini wearing a white, sorry. Accuracy, we love it. We're back, we're back with the, we're back with the bops. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm kidding, this is very sad. Oh, this is getting really emotional. Boom! It's in. We've made contact. Flashback! Oh, yeah, sorry. I love I love a good cheesy, like, heart-wrenching flashback. That was very hard to film. I suck at table tennis, so somebody was trying to teach me. That was written, and that's some Sanskrit there. I know, like, we really wanted to make sure that whatever was written in, in Sanskrit, in Tamil, was properly correct. I know Purna put a lot of effort into making sure that every single time Kanna or like, you know, whatever small ad lib she had in Tamil, she would always make sure it was accurate by literally like calling her mom and then also asking my mom too. So she really like 
Dedication. Point of, point of appreciation. Trent just put his balls in it. See, they're all laughing at anyone who drinks in there. Davy's on the go. She's running. And boom. That is so cool how that table worked. Like, I just had to fake it, but it was just like a big spring. Fun fact, Lee only had like three suits to wear. Like three suits that she could actually get messy. And we had to make sure we got it right. As soon as we got it right, we were done with like actually throwing the punch on her. But that line, I'm popping off. We could never get through it properly. Every time me and Lee are on a scene together, every single time we just look at each other's face for too long, like we have too much eye contact for too long, we'll start laughing. You just made me come out to our whole class just to get it out there. I'm gay too. Oh my God, love Joda. You just seem lost. That line, that hits. That's a very real line. I know exactly where I am. That's not me falling into the pool. That was a stunt double. They were too nervous about me falling into pools, also because I can't swim. The amount of times I've heard this line. What? Mom, I'm fast asleep! Is just astronomical. That's the beginning of the trailer as well. I'm here to have sex with you. So he tried to do like the over the head, but like he kept choking himself. I'm like, Darren, my guy, like, okay, sure. They had to get a shirt that was baggy so it could go through the sleeve, but also fitted so that you could still see his body through while he's wearing it. And I'm like, just there like, okay, that sounds like a you guys problem. I'm gonna go get some crafty and uh, we'll circle back. So yeah, progress. And is that dandruff shampoo? Both me and Darren actually were very unprofessional trying to stay serious. You have the beauty of Priyanka Chopra. But with the incisive intellect of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I read that line like when we first did the table read of it and I was like, oh my God, the stereotype of a white guy only knowing Priyanka Chopra is so real. Like that is so real. Like by no means should Priyanka Chopra be the only beauty standard because there are so many South Asian Desi queens, okay? She could have just compared me to Mindy. But then when they came in with the incisive intellect of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I thought that was really cool because I was like, yeah, that's that's what Davy would think. That's her hero there. Davy might think like Priyanka Chopra is pretty, but her hero, RBG. I also appreciate about the scene is that they made it very like much so like a dream. Like this is not how Rome is should be. In no way is never have I ever saying like, yes, this is the peak of all romantic things. No, this is like, this is stupidity. Like what? Which I think is a very uh, Mindy like trademark of like, yeah, let's put some romance up in here, but now it's all a dream, so psych. And then of course, like you just watch that and then you hear John McEnroe pop in. Yeah, of course it was a dream, people. <laughs> you didn't think it'd be that easy for it, did you? Mom, can we make pancakes for dinner like he used to? Of course, but you have to come home to eat them. This is gonna sound so cheesy, but uh, okay. It makes me really miss like the whole like cast and like crew and I'm like, I miss these guys. Cause I don't get to see them like in person and stuff. It does make me miss them and like miss the memories. Hi, was I drooling? I would laugh if season two started off with all you hear is just a, like a knock on the, on the window. It's just <laughs> Nalini. You stayed. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Okay, these are actually really sweet lines. Like, Ooh, dramatic shot to the phone. Thought maybe we can hang out, but uh, Seems like you're busy. Yeah, she's busy. Anyway. Moving on. Definitely asked them if I could like drive the drone that they use for that last shot as they like go over the Malibu beach and everything. And they totally said no. And I was like, okay, like, no, no, really. Like, I didn't even really want to, so it's, it's okay. 